Hello everyone, my name is David Ankoviak and I am a Solutions Architect with Cisco. From the Cisco Cloud Journey channel, we have a three-part video, the Sand Boot. Soon we'll be making another LUN. Now, this first part will walk us through the zoning process uh, for Boot from Sand. We are basically going to be copying some initial information from UCSM, which is already logged in here. Go ahead and pull that up. Going to drill down to the blade. We're going to change to boot from sand, and we're going to copy some information, the initiator information, into Notepad for reuse. We're also going to go ahead and add the device alias to the end of the line in Notepad. There, that's a standard convention we're using in the lab to define the initiator and uh, which fabric it's on, and also which VHBA. So in this case, A is zero, B is one. And obviously the server name there. So now we're gonna go ahead and log into the five Ks. So in this infrastructure, we have two Nexus 5000s, one for each side of the fabric. Go ahead and log in there. Go ahead and launch my second console. Get that up. Probably speed this section up. <laughs> Once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and do a show floggy to see if the initiators, in fact, already logged into the fabric and cross-reference that with the information we have in Notepad. So we do see it here. Go ahead and copy that into Notepad just for comparison to make sure we have the right initiator. You can see that those numbers do match and do the same thing on B. I'm going to go ahead and do a show zone set here. Get some additional basic information from the two fabrics to create my zones in Notepad for easy copy and paste when we're doing the zoning setup. I kind of speed through this part here. You'll see I'm copying stuff from both sides. And I skip to the end there. We're going to do a show device alias database on each side of the fabric, change the config T mode to edit the device alias database. Config T, there we go. And now we're going to add the new device alias and drop down into the config for the device alias database on both sides. and add the new alias. You can see here we separated the fabric information in Notepad, just helps keep things organized. There we go. Add it to fabric B now. Now, even though we've added them, we still have to run a commit command. Let's see here, we're going to do a commit. Do I say this commit? Run that on both sides. And then we're going to do a show on the database just to ensure that that device alias has indeed been added. You can see there it is. 
and we can continue. So this one, we're going to go ahead and do a show zone on each side here. This is just so I can get a quick view at the current zones. So now we're going to go ahead and create our zones. And like I said here, it's nice that we can just copy and paste this right into the switch. It makes it nice and easy. Then we're going to add our members from the device alias database. So member device alias. And then the device alias name. You notice here we're not adding the PWWN information. Since it's already in the device alias database, we just simply add the device alias member using the name, the common name. And we're going to check our zone. We're going to repeat this process uh, four times. 2-1-A, 2-1-B. You can see here I'm just copying and pasting what I already had in Notepad. Here I'm just cross-referencing the information that's now created in the switch with what I had a notepad just to ensure that I have no errors. I'll do the same thing on B. So here again on the B side, we're going to cut and paste the current switch information for the zones into the notepad. Just cross-reference what we initially had, make sure everything's correct. Now we're going to go ahead and modify the zone set. We're going to simply add these zones to the zone set, which is very similar to the device alias and with a member command. Same thing with the zones using the member command. And here we just add the zone name. So cut and paste for notepad comes in handy, no typos. And we're going to repeat this for all four zones that have been created. All right, double check and make sure the information is accurate. And we're going to activate the new zone set. Activation is complete on fabric A. Now we're going to go to fabric B and complete the same set of tasks. Verify the zone set, information is correct, and activate the zone set. All 
As you can see throughout this video, we are using the single initiator target practice for all of our zoning. So we run a show floggy one more time here just to ensure that we can see the device alias names and them logged into the fabric using those device aliases. Or I should say be referenced by those device aliases. And last but not least, copy run start. I'll make sure you get that in the right order. You can also create an alias WR to run that. So it gives you a little less temptation to reverse those last two words. And that completes the zoning portion of this video series. Thank you for watching.